This has been a highly requested video and I've done a few attempts at this in the past, not the best attempts, so we're going to attempt this another time. Um, welcome. Today we're going to talk about how I draw faces. If you like the way that I draw faces, then stick around. This tutorial might be for you. I'm going to show you my approach to drawing faces, the tools I use, the references I use, things like that that can help you understand how I approach drawing faces um, if you want to draw like me. I'm going to assume a, like a basic understanding, like if you want to do this tutorial, that you you understand the faces in general. I'll go about like how I begin to approach it, but I'm going to assume you you have like you're not a complete novice in terms of drawing the face, if that makes sense. So there's a few things I'm going to cover in this. I'm going to cover the tools that I use, how I lay it out, the basic structure of how I draw a face. And then I think the things that like I like to focus on in my style, which is character and emotion and how I go about doing that. So the tools that I use, I use an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil and these are my digital brushes. Here's kind of how the tools that I use, the brushes I use and, and for what. And that can help you get an idea of how I start to achieve the look that I get. I really like the texture of brushes. I don't like smooth line art necessarily. I like, I think my art looks better with the sketchiness and the lightness of the lines. And so I like to keep that with these brushes. So like I said, I'm going to assume you have like a basic understanding of the face, but this is how I in general lay it out. I start with a circle and I draw a line down the middle and one down the side. And these are going to represent the basic locations of those important features. So that line, when that bottom, that's where the chin is, where the lines intersect in the center, that's where your nose is going to start. And then the lines on the side um, of the circle are where your ears are. And then somewhere in that general vicinity is where the eyes are. And then at the top is where the hairline is. So then at this point, it kind of becomes a, a game of connect the dots where you can start to like really lightly and you can see this doesn't look great. It's not meant to look great. It's just a basic understanding of where things are located, the shapes of them. Yeah, general location of these things. So then when we do actually go to draw a face, we have a basic understanding of where things are supposed to be. And then we can start to really get in, get in there and, and show the details of these things. This also works in the three-fourths view. You're just going to have a little bit of foreshortening. You know, the face is, is 3D. This is something that I see a lot of new um, artists sometimes forget. It's I don't even think they're really forgetting it. It's just hard to portray it. Um, when you're first starting out, but the face is 3D. So things are going to be hidden behind things. And so just understanding like where those lines are, where they represent the different you know pieces of facial anatomy and your nose sticking out, I think it's just helpful to start to visualize, visualize and understand where things are. Okay, so now we got that out of the way, this like really basic understanding of like where things are supposed to loca be located. Now let's start drawing. And step one of drawing the face, especially for me and my art and my style, and should be true of most people, is find a reference. This is important if you're drawing a real person and it's even important if you're drawing a fictional character. It's so helpful to have something in front of you to help you understand where things are located and, and to capture the emotion and the character that you want to portray. That's really important and it's not cheating. I have a whole Pinterest board right here where it shows a bunch of the references that I use if I'm designing a character or drawing a character. So I'll link that down below if you want to see some of these references. And we're going to use this lovely person, this lovely woman right here. We're going to draw her. So in the same way that we broke down the face into basic like connect the dots and shapes, that's what step two is here, is, is break down the face into shapes. I always start again with that circle and then I'm going in and like, we don't need to worry about the details at this stage of the face. We just want to understand where things are located again and capture that basic shape of this person. So it's really just about if you were to kind of turn this into a black and white photo or some silhouette and you could just only see the outline of things, like what would it look like? That's really what you want to see here or focus on in this stage, which is why, again, I say like keep your pencil light. I pick like a really light gray color at this stage to simulate graphite in the same way, like do that here. And I'm really just concerned about shape. Just what are the shapes? What is the shape of the lip? What is the shape of the nose? What is the shape of the eye? I'm not getting too detailed. And then especially hair is an easy one to get really lost in the details of the lines. Just focus on the shape. What is the overall shape of the hair? 
where if you just could, yeah, again, turn it black and white, you're looking at a silhouette. What is that silhouette? What does it look like? Keep your hand really light, very fluffy almost. Um, don't get too, don't press too hard on your pencil, on your tablet, and just like try to keep it as like light and moving as possible, especially with my style. I'm not always the best at this, but I try to keep it very expressive and very, I want the characters to feel like there's movement in them and that there is an emotion to them. You'll start to see we're, we're getting the basic shape here. It's not, it's not perfect by any means. It doesn't look 100% like her, but at least we're getting somewhere. It's a start where we're starting to, to craft those and carve those shapes. Something that helps too with capturing people like this, if you're following a your reference exactly, and even when you're doing character design, but in this specific situation, is what are the like most distinct features? I, especially in my style, I'm not necessarily interested in like creating a, a, a realistic portrait. That's not like what my style is about. Um, not that I don't want to capture a person if I'm drawing them, but it's it not meant to be a realistic, it's not meant to be a portrait. So then like, how does it look unique and stylized, but still looks like the person? And one of the ways I do that is by focusing on those really particular traits of a person's facial features, or even just like physical features that I think helps people connect to who you're trying to capture. With this person, with this model, it's the, her mouth is very unique. I think a really unique shape, the hair. Um, and I think the the facial, like she has a very um, kind of squared off jaw, not entirely, but she has a unique like jaw facial line. So those are the things that I think in this scenario are important to get right in order to, to show that you're trying to draw this person. So now that I've finished that like initial, like really light sketch, so another pro tip <laughs> that I have here is to um, block it out with some ink underneath with some light color. Uh, I create a different layer and then I, I color in um, the drawing underneath that sketch layer. And this is again, helps with the shape. I, I lower the opacity of the sketch oftentimes in this scenario, but sometimes my pencil is already light that I don't necessarily have to do that. But this again, the idea is you're trying to like train your eye or show your eye what the shape is, especially with this uh, person. It's like the hair, the hair is a very unique shape. So how do I get that? And it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be, it's okay. But you're trying to train your eye to see these shapes. And that's one of the most important things you want to capture when you're drawing a person. And then after doing that, we go in with more detail. Now we're going to really try and focus in on those particular shapes and add the detail to it. And this is trial and error. It's a lot of erasing, but we really want to go in with a little slightly darker pencil. I'm using that fat pencil brush again. And one of the details of my style that's really important is I, again, I keep my pencil pretty light, pretty airy. And then I also, I, I use a lot of lines. My line work is not clean. It's pretty um, sketchy, for lack of a better word, it's sketchy. And that's okay, we, we, we want that look, at least I do. And it, it allows you to be a little bit imperfect because again, you're, you're creating some of that emotion. I am always surprised by how just like one line makes such a big difference in character with my style. Like one line out of place will make someone look angry but then you put it in the right place and suddenly they look happy. You know, it, it really makes a big difference. Um, and you want to keep, it's just about being as delicate as possible. Not necessarily precise, but just like as delicate and as light as possible. Again, we're focusing on shapes. What's the shape of the nose? What's the shape of the eyebrows? How are we making sure we're getting those things right? And when talking about the unique traits of a person that you're trying to capture, I think in this uh, reference, she looks very like bold. She looks intimidating a little bit. I mean, not like in a bad way, but she just, she has this really like confident look about her. And that's something I want to make sure I capture, maybe even elevate. And that's like another part of my style that I, I really focus on is again, motion. And I do that by like really focusing on the eyes and again, being really delicate, but being del yeah, being delicate with the expressions or, and with when I'm drawing those eyes. Emotions I think can be really captured mainly in the eyes and then in the mouth, but like the eyes are where I focus on the most. So focusing on where you're placing those lines, how lightly you're placing those lines. Um, when someone, she's kind of like squinting and so you want to shorten her eyes a little bit um, to show a little bit of that like 
that my brain short circuited and I was looking for the word smolder. <laughs> she's trying, she's kind of has a smolder to her, like Flynn Rider. And you see, you want to like capture the squintiness by, by shortening the, the like height of her eyes to, to show that she's squinting. Once we feel good about shapes is when we can start to really go in and start adding those details. So especially with the hair, once I feel like I have a pretty good idea of the hair, um, I don't think this is exactly right, but it gets the idea of cross. Then I can go in and start adding some of those more detailed lines, some of the hair that's out of place, um, to start adding some more life to this person. I want to reiterate again that this is trial and error and this is practice. You're gonna find things that work for you that don't work for me and vice versa. So I covered a lot. So what did we learn today? So if we want to learn, if we want to break down what I talked about and how I approach drawing the face, it's step one, have the right tools. I shared my tools with you, but you know, find the tools that you like the most um, and they don't have to be the most expensive tools. Number two, find your reference. Please don't forget references. They're so important and so helpful. You cannot draw a face without knowing what a face looks like. It makes a difference. Number three, step three is break down the face into shapes. Understand the basic anatomy of where things are located, but then also break things down into those shapes. How do things, if you could remove all the detail, what are the shapes of those facial features? Step four, then fill in detail. After you've carved out the shapes, you've started sketching it out very lightly in step three and step four, then we start to fill in more detail um, with also a lighter pencil. I redraw faces a hundred times before I get something the way I like it. Don't be fooled by um, some of my art on my Instagram or whatever. Sometimes they take me a while. It's not a perfect system. Um, so don't feel bad if it doesn't, you know, you take time and it takes practice. And step uh, five is practice. You have to practice. It's unfortunate, we all hate it, but you have, <laughs> you have to practice and that is how you'll get better. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful and gave you an understanding of how I draw the face. Um, keep practicing and let me know what else you want to see from me. I haven't done tutorials, you know, like this before. So let me know what other things you want to learn from me, other things you'd like to see on this channel. I have some links down before about the tools I use, um, other resources, and my online store because I sell some of my art. So, um, any other links of resources that I have are linked down below um, in the description. And thanks again for watching. I hope you like this and I'll see you again another time with another video. Bye!